And when uh, when you talk about attracting rodents, you need a lot of tools. Among those, you have the Nara block, you have the Nara lures, which now comes in different shapes and also in different uh, flavors, which also is a good, good opportunity for technicians around the world to combine uh, and, and see for, for the right situation, the right uh, complementary tools. Do you have any favorite Nara lure? Uh, my, still my favorite is fish actually, not depending on the smell for humans, but uh, I think the fish lure is a little bit different. It's hard to get for rodents uh, and I know they are omnivores, so they are seeking for food that is more or less non-available sometimes. So I think if the fish is perhaps my number one choice. And do you overcome the allergen topic oftentimes, allergens and rodent attractants? Uh, when we talk about baits, you can uh, absolutely have the discussion with customers about allergens. Uh, and since the Nora blocks or Nora lures are non-allergic, I think that's a good opportunity, good opportunity to use in in situations where that kind of topic occurs. And how long how long do you find do the products work? I mean, the data sheet says three months, but did you find or use them longer? Uh, when we talk about how long products last, I, I would recommend, I mean, I know that the number says, or the, the label says three months, but our, our own experience says it goes more than more than three months. So I think it's more up to the technicians to go back and check and see, do we still have a, some a curious rat or curious mice around? Uh, mm -hmm. So then it's your choice to change the bait or to keep it. And did you also use Nara spray to lure rodents to stations or just on bait and traps uh, directly? I think we used the Nara sprays to be both in the, the, the equipment itself, like we spray into the box or into the trap, but also use it for uh, guiding the rodents from a little bit from the outside so it pinpoints where, where actually the, the rodents should go. And did you also find that after a while of, of spraying onto stations and plastic boxes, that the scent of plastic boxes uh, and the neophobia created through that decrease? Is that something you say? We know that the plastic is not, and also metal is a, a, a subject or a, a, a material which is not a, so to say, natural material. So to overcome that shyness or n willingness not to go into the bait station. We used the Nora spray to, to cover perhaps the, the scent or the smell of plastic or even metal. And sometimes you have a combination of metal and oil products. So uh, I think hiding uh, perhaps is the right expression for when you're using Nora lure in that way.